Hello. Um, we had a huge. Hello. Hello. Sorry, gimbal isn't wanting to work. Uh, yeah, hello. Um, it is Saturday morning. It, there was a huge amount of snow fell overnight. Um, so I decided I was going to try and capture a nice wintry scene, hopefully with some trees, uh, with some snow lying on them, which is what I found. Uh, there was a other place that I wanted to try out today, um, uh, but the car just simply would not let me drive there on the roads. Um, the car, after turning into the road that you need to get to get to the place, um, the car wheels just started spinning very quickly realised that it wasn't going to happen so I've come to my plan B location um, you can have a look over there um, you can see I actually had to rush and take some photographs before I could start filming uh, the sunrise has just come up there's some lovely pink colour in the clouds behind that trees and just really added to the scene they're still at the tail end of it just disappearing around the back now um, so yeah I, I took some snaps um, and I'll show you those um, but yeah, I had to do that really quickly just to make sure I got it. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm it's still quite, I've only got a, a zoom of up to 50 millimeter in my lens at the moment. So I'm going to go a little bit closer to those trees. The only downside is to go closer, you kind of go down the hill and you kind of lose that a little bit. So I'm not really sure how it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try uh, and see how it gets on. Um, and we'll, we'll take it from there. Oh man, so just from sheer laziness because it's so cold, uh, I'm not packing up my stuff to walk onto my next spot, I'm just carrying it like this, which isn't the most ideal because this tripod and camera and lens weigh a ton, but I don't think I'm going to have to walk too far. So. We've not had proper snow here for years and we got some last Thursday but by the time the weekend came, which is when I was going to be able to go out and film uh, Look this down here Just drop my drone, that's fine um, Yeah When By the time the weekend came the snow had gone and unfortunately, that's the only time I can really get out um, to take photographs. Um, so I wasn't sure when we would next get snow, but we've got some last night and uh, this morning. So absolutely thrilled because I've not really done any snowy scenes for a very, very long time. Um, uh, and I've never really got a snowy scene that I'm hugely enthralled about. So it's good to come here uh, and hopefully get some snaps. As I say, the only downside is getting close enough to those trees without dipping down into the hill and kind of losing them from view. So yeah, nice to be out. Um, it certainly woke me up this morning being out in this bitter cold snap. Um, I'm keeping my hands in my, my spare hand in my pocket because uh, it is just so cold. I've got three pairs of socks on and like big proper boots and it my toes are still feeling like they're going to fall off so it's not so good uh, but you know you got to put in the you got to bear the the elements to to get the photos and uh, hopefully it'll pay off today there's some stunning cloud over that way um, just again this pink cloud uh, off the back of the sunrise um, some really nice clouds coming in so, uh, there's still some pink cloud uh, behind the, the trees that I'm going to photograph, so I'm going to go and do that now. Uh, I'm going to put the gimbal away, I'm going to put the GoPro onto uh, a tripod and take it off of the gimbal. Uh, actually, a uh, point worth making uh, is the, the gimbal uh, came with an adapter for the, the Hero 5, which is what I have. I've never been able to get it to the, the Hero 4 adapter to unfasten from the gimbal but I managed to do it this week and now I've got my Hero 5 on so I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay right enough yabbing on I'm going to go and take some photos. Right 
okay. So, I've taken some photographs of these trees behind me. Um, I don't really feel like I can get in kind of close enough uh, with just a, I've got a, a 17 to 50 mil zoom and I can't get in close enough to those trees. The, the kind of colour in the cloud is coming around a little bit, but it's kind of beginning to disappear. Uh, there's no real light there. If I'm looking over this way, um, there's the trees that I was wanting to get to when I was trying to drive earlier on, but the car just wouldn't allow it. Um, but they're really well lit. The sun's risen over here, so it's casting across and it's lighting up those trees beautifully. Um, there's an entrance into the, the adjacent field. I'm thinking if I go in there and cut across that field, uh, I might be able to get a photograph of the trees that are lit up at the moment uh, as that sun's rising up. There should be some great light across there. So I'm going to pack up, I'm going to head across there and I'm going to see what I can get. So, I came into the other field uh, to get a photograph of the well-lit trees and the sun disappeared behind cloud and those trees are no longer lit and as it turned out they looked a lot closer from that field until you get in and realise there's about three fields between this field and the actual trees. So it's not going to work. However, the sun is coming up nicely over in this direction. We've got these uh, this amazing cloud, it looks like it's going to be snow or rain or something, but the cloud is really quite dramatic. And then and you've got this really low line cloud, like really fluffy, quite nice cloud, and this very dramatic cloud up high. And what we've got is these lined up hay bales, which act as a really nice leading line. And where the snow has drifted overnight, it's just hit into the side of these hay bales, almost like a, a kind of barrier type thing, I guess. And the, it just makes for a really nice scene, it's really dramatic um, and there's a lot of colour in the sky as well still which is really nice um, and I think by the time you get that through Lightroom um, it's going to look really good so I've kind of gone with that so what if I, in terms of my settings I've got a fourth of a second f9 uh, aperture and ISO of 200 and yeah Yeah, just a really nice image, really nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back slightly because I was quite close into the hay bales there. But I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, it probably works better that way. Yeah, just zooming it out slightly so that you're getting more of that foreground. Maybe just rise it slightly. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, really nice. That cloud is just so dramatic. It's almost like, you know, it's just like waiting for that second round of snow to just kick in really pleased with that. It's not the type of image I expected to get today, um, but ne nevertheless, I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, so I think I'm going to move on uh, and maybe, I don't know if I'm going to go back to the other field and try and do better with those trees. I was thinking about flying the drone, uh, undecided yet. Um, the batteries are going to be so cold, um, but I'll give it a bash and see how I get on. Um, I just don't want to risk it going off and doing its own thing as it seems to have had a habit of doing this last few weeks but yeah really nice um a very unusual 
composition and very weird stuff going on in the sky but nevertheless hopefully a really good image um, I'm going to go and have a look around now and see what else I can find Fingers crossed that you can hear this. It's not a windy, so it should be okay. Um, right, okay, so I think I'm going to call it a day there based purely on the fact that I can't feel my fingers or toes. It's really, really cold. Um, yeah, just what a, a surprising kind of day, I suppose. Not the images I was expecting to get, but nonetheless quite happy with them. Uh, you know, I wanted to capture the, the kind of wintry scene and snow. I think I've done that. Uh, you know, I didn't get the, the kind of, well, I don't know yet, but I'm not convinced by the images I took of the kind of snow-covered trees, which is really what I came here to get. But, you know what, I'm not too fast, I think. I think if I could have got closer to the trees, then it would have been ideal, but and I, might, I might try and see if I can get a little bit, um, and see if I can get closer to those trees, but to be honest, Thanks for watching, you know, uh, really appreciate it. Um, I've been getting some good comments again this week. Um, so please do, you know, uh, keep watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Um, hit the notification button. Uh, and leave comments, leave feedback, um, give me suggestions for the sort of thing you'd like to see me do. Um, I'm open to suggestions. Um, I aim to go out at least once a week. But I might start introducing some kind of midweek videos as well. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you think. Um, really appreciate all feedback, good and bad. Uh, and until then, until next time then, I will see you later. Bye.